met a gypsy. Say that the manufacturers would get around this whole like our stock bike production if it's not doing good in the whoops i'm no one's gonna buy kt like all that goes away yes it would with the production shit out it's like okay these are the same bikes but they're not the same bikes. yeah they're extremely custom for chase sexton this one's for jet lawrence like i went to arco this year and watched the gp yeah bro roman fevra's bike i fucking almost could have jerked off over it i I've heard ne- your comments have been i've never seen <laughs> it like and i've seen dirt yeah. bikes my whole life never seen anything like it I that was, is wild that this bike that, blew your mind that much dude literally, you said you could hear it flexing right you, well you could hear the sound that it made <laughs> right so there's like a there's like a dull thud when okay. he was hitting bumps yeah and that is like a, that's something absorbing impact as opposed to like dispersing impact if that makes sense yeah and, and when you just get like i'm standing here and i'm looking there's just a window of bikes riding past in insane braking bumps uh. and one bike just literally sounds different and then i wow. talk i talk to the the cowie guys and they're like we did this 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 and this it's fucking crazy like it's crazy yeah and i'm just there going give me more just talk to me daddy uh, it's cool they're That's, offering that by the way yeah and yeah you know you hear langston Langston was on here saying, dude, when we we're at KTM on my 125, like my 125 year, there was four of us riding 125s and we were all on different frames, different swing arms, different, you know, so it's like, I think that we're leaving a lot on the table from that entertainment property aspect in a sense, you know? Yeah. And I, I feel like one of the negatives, it's interesting that you say that, yeah, we've got that base of yeah. the manufacturers, right? Yep. But we all we also get hamstrung by the manufacturers. Like I know, and I know for a fact, yeah, that it's like there's ideas in the past that have been floated, and oh, yeah, it's yeah. basically yeah. like, oh yeah, Roger said no. Oh, there's definitely and things, I'm like, yeah, going, yeah. Well, well I mean, they're, fuck that. Yes, their business model is tied to it. Yes. Um. So of course they have an vested interest, uh, good or bad. I will say what is what blew my mind to go all the way back to that American road racing thing. What was so shocking to me is. Suzuki was dominating and they made these rules and that was just, you know, everybody has their good years and bad years. They were just trying to level the playing field and the brands who were getting their asses kicked every weekend were pissed yeah. that they wanted to change these rules. And I'm like, no, they just want it to be like, <laughs> yeah. if we're get, if we suck, that's our problem. We'll fix it. We don't want extra ha- handouts. handouts. Yeah. Give yeah. us, give us two years. We'll have a new bike. We'll go after it. And that's what shocked me. I was like, I thought they'd be the first with their hand up because they're getting beat over the last two years. They were not. So, yeah, they did not want any change. Yeah. Do not change it. They yeah. tried to change it to be more entertaining. They did not want that. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. I think they, I don't want to use that as too strong of an example, because maybe they were like, we like the concept of doing that, just the ways you were going to do it. Yeah, fair. That's tough, right? What rules are we talking about? They'd have to be perfect rules. They could be like the idea of, it's more radical is cool, but the way you're going about it is wrong. There's yeah. some subtleties in there. What's surprising about the Fever thing, so tell me about this. So Cowie's like, we got this new 2024 bike. Look at this. Look at what it's done. Fever was unbelievable at yeah. the halfway point of the season. You're saying that that was like a hand built. Just like fully the frame, the chassis, everything. Right. Which, so maybe the ev- properties are coming over on the production bike. Maybe. Well, I don't know. Yeah. And so that should be the messaging, I guess, yeah. is my point. They're is, trying that. Is like yeah. where... We've gone all in. Yeah. We've, like, dude went through eight frames right. in the off season. Like, we're perfecting this frame. Obviously, you can't have a CNC machine cradle on a production bike that yes. lasts eight hours. Yeah. So it's like, but we've taken everything we know from this. Okay. And we turned it right. into this. I think yeah. It's like that should be the messaging. Yeah. Because, yeah, like, dude, you're so right. And I did the swap shootout the other day. First time I ever got to ride all the 450s. Yeah, you are back living back. your best life, man. It was really fun. It's unbelievable. Actually. Listen to you. It was really, okay. it was really fun. I'm sure. But yeah. they were, I'm so slow. <laughs> like I'm in terms of what I'm doing versus those guys. Like, oh, okay. What I can say yeah. about those bikes. Like right. it's such a small window. Like, okay. If you're watching yeah. this and you're tall and you're about this speed <laughs> and you like <laughs> these kind of tracks, yeah, yeah. then listen to what I'm saying. If you're short and you live in a different area, and you have this much money it's like 
they're all phenomenal bikes. Like no yeah. no bike that you're on is at any disadvantage. And when it comes to like that stock level, you know what I mean? No, and that's why when James Stewart is asking me, what do you notice in a bike? Part of it is I just assume that I'm so bad <laughs> that I don't need to tinker with suspension because if yeah. I'm the one holding it back. <laughs> like, am yeah. I going to gain from yeah. something in the forks like he would? I'm assuming no. Maybe that's maybe I'm being naive and maybe these things would help any rider. But yeah, I assume these all these bikes are better than I need them to be anyway. For sure. Dude. So what difference does it make to me? If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. And to listen to the full three hour podcast, search Gypsy Tales in your favorite podcast platform or click the link in the description below. Gypsy Gang.